Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 7th of 2023. Well, it is titled a comet and two dippers. So what do we see here? Well, we see here a comet and this is comet ZTF that we have looked at uh, over the past couple of months as it came in closer to sun and earth, and now is heading back out into the outer solar system. And that means it will begin to fade and make it much harder to see without the aid of a telescope or binoculars. But you can be sure it will be followed as it heads back into the outer solar system again. Now here we're seeing the comet there. Um, and if you don't see it, let's go ahead and highlight everything. And we can label the comet and there it is off to the upper left a little bit. And we can see the distinct head there with the tail stretching out on either side of it in this case. Now this was taken in later part of January, so it was taken more than a week ago, and able to be able to see that there were two tails going in opposite directions because of our positioning relative to the comet. That allowed us to kind of be, put the tails in between the head and get it on either side. So there really is only one tail. It's just our positioning that allows us to see the head positioned right in the middle of the tail. So the tail appears to be come out, coming out from either side. Now we said it's between two dippers so we can see the dippers labeled there as well and that is up above the little dipper uh, which is the uh, smaller bear or some minor uh, portion of that constellation and we see the little dipper and then heading back and the uh, handle of the dipper is Polaris the North Star. Now we see it's a relatively bright star here, but not the, necessarily the brightest star that we see and certainly not the brightest star in the sky. In fact, there are probably about 50 stars in the sky that are brighter than Polaris. It's a relatively bright star, but by no means the brightest star in the sky. It is important simply because it happens to be located close to the north celestial pole of Earth, which put, puts it at an important point on the sky, kind of the pivot point around around which the sky appears to turn. Now down below we see the Big Dipper with seven bright stars showing a relatively similar pattern to the Little Dipper up above and that is part of Ursa Minor or the Ursa Major or the Greater Bear and we can see that down below. It's one of the prominent objects in the sky that many people can actually identify uh, because it is relatively bright stars, seven relatively bright stars and at least for those at northerly latitudes it is always visible. It is a circumpolar kind constellation. Well, I should say a circumpolar asterism since the Big Dipper itself is not a constellation, which means it's close enough to the North Pole that it never actually rises or sets if you are far enough north. So we can those of us far relatively far north can see it all times of year. No matter what evening we look out, the Big Dipper will always be there. It may be higher or lower in the sky, but it is always visible. So right now we can see, or at least a week ago, we could see the comet ZTF between these two dippers. So that was our picture of the day for February 7th of 2023. It was titled a comet between, uh, sorry, a comet and two dippers. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be wind star. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.